Welcome back, guys. Are you also facing this error and you want to solve it? Yes, I know. But guess what? It's time to say goodbye to this error because you can solve this in just three steps. But before starting, I have a request from you. Please like and subscribe to this video because I do not charge you for this video, and it will also help you. So, what are those three steps? First, we will create a recovery partition. Second, we will increase its size. And third, we will download the update and apply a script to it. By following these steps, my error solved, as you can see here that my update is downloading and installing perfectly. So to solve this, we will use CMD. So first from here, I search for CMD and then I run it as administrator. So here I run the command reagency and space forward slash info for your convenience because it let you know whether your disk has a recovery partition or not and also where is its location and whether it is enabled or not. So as you can see here it's enabled and its location is hard disk 1. So here first I will delete my recovery partition for you because most users don't have recovery partition so I want you step by step to do everything properly. If anyone have a recovery partition in their system then okay. Don't delete it we will resize it later and then apply a script on it. So be patient until the recovery partition is created. I was run the command disk part. And then list disk. Now I am going to select disk 1 because my recovery partition lies in hard drive 1. Now I want to see partitions of selected hard drive for that I run command list partition. Here you can see my recovery partition which occupies space 750 MB. Now I want to choose recovery partition for deletion by command select partition 4. So I delete it by running command delete partition override. So here you can see that our partition has been successfully deleted. So to make it more easier for you, I allocate this free space to C drive. So to do that here I right click on the drive and then click on extend volume then click on next. Click on next and then finish. Your hard drive will look exactly like this without recovery partition. So to create it, right click on the C drive here and then click on shrink volume. Here you can choose any size for recovery partition but not below than 250 MDs. So I take 501 megabyte, then click on shrink. So for now I create a simple default partition from this unallocated space. Which size will be around 500 megabytes. And currently for now I don't assign any letter to it. So I click on next button. From here you can give any name to the partition. So I give name Ruva instead of new volume now next and finished. As you can see here the partition is created. After that I'm going to minimize and cut unnecessary tabs. Here I have a surprise for you which is in the form of code. So what you have to do is to paste these commands one by one and you have just select the partition according to your system. And there is nothing difficult in it. As you can see here, with the code of step 1 we will create the recovery partition and with the code of step 2 we will increase the size of the recovery partition. Here I copied the disk part command and then I go to CMD. Ops. Here my path is already on the disk part, so you can type exit command and then paste disk part to re-enter in disk part. So I copy below command. List disk. Now I paste it here, as you can see the list of disks appeared. Now, I copy command select disk and then paste it here. Ops, I was forgot to type the disk number. So I type here my disk number which is 1. As you can see here the partition I was created in disk 1 and named Ruva. For now I hit enter. Now I want to see partitions in selected hard drive, therefore I run command, list partition. So from the list it seems that we have come to the right place. Now I copy command, select partition, and paste it here and if you remember that the size of the partition we created was 500 megabytes. In the same way, the partition of the same size will be visible below, which exists at number 4. So I type here 4. Now I copy command. Dip partition, and then paste it here. Now I run. It seems that we selected correct partition named Ruva. Now I want to check the partition style whether it is GPT or MBR for that I copy and run command, list disk. Here you will get an idea from this small star whether it is under GPT or MBR. If it is under GPT then run these two commands. Otherwise it will be MBR and just run this single command. So I run these two commands because my partition style is GPT. I left the above command because it was MBR. Now again I will run command. Dead part. To check partition info. So here it is hidden. Now after that I will exit by command. 
After that I want to start Windows recovery environment for this I run command reagency space forward slash enable. After running the command this error appeared which clearly says that there is a recovery image is missing in our recovery folder. Now you will need an ISO file or bootable USB of Windows 10 or 11 to get this file on that location. But before going to that folder, you have to turn on view settings in your PC because if you don't turn it on, you won't see this file there, so you must make it visible from here. Just click on view option and then come below and check the following three options. Offer checking. Apply it and then click on OK. Now I am going to destination where my ISO file exists. This is my ISO file. Now I open it. And now come to sources folder. Now search here install.vim file. Press I from keyboard or you can also use everything software for fast searching. I got my file. Now I copy it. Now I go to PC from here. Then I open C drive. And here I paste my file. Now I create here a new folder named mount. After that I will execute another commands for mounting. So what am I going to do now? I will mount the file into the created folder named mount by this long command. You can change paths in this command according to your directories. I'm really sorry for making video faster but your time is gold for me. After executing the command we will go to mount folder. Now open it, and now open windows. To find the system32 folder quickly press S button and then open it. Now search and open recovery folder. Here in recovery folder you will get two files. Copy both files and then come back to this PC. Here open C drive, and then open windows folder. Same to earlier search for system32 folder, and then search recovery folder and paste both files here. These files are automatically deleted from here, so please paste them another place too for your convenience and safety because you will need it later. I will save them on desktop. Here let me tell you first that these two files will be needed when you update Windows and when we download the update from Microsoft Catalog. We will then use these files there before applying the script to it. So whether our image not found, error is solved or not for that I run command reagency forward slash enable. So by running this command our Windows recovery environment is enabled. And also you will know whether the file is deleted or not. So we have successfully created the recovery partition. As you can see here its size and also its label. But before do anything let me unmount that file by this long command. Which I mounted earlier. Because that file is not delete by any other means in the software in this command. The reagency forward slash enable above command I run before, so I don't run it now. So I run the below command reagency space forward slash info. By CLS prompt I clear window. By this we can see the status of Windows recovery environment. Now you will see here that our recovery partition location is hard disk 1 and also in partition 1. Now I will disable it by running command reagency space forward slash disable. So to perform the actions on the hard drive I copy this disk part command and run it from here in CMD as well. To check the list of disks and partition style of the system, for that I copy command list disk and then run it here. Here I have two disks and their partition style is GPT because star is under GPT. Here I copy command select disk without corresponding number because it may be different in your system and mine, so you have to pay a little attention while copying the command and giving the digit. Above you can see the hard disk number which is 1, so I will give the exact same digit below. So I want to see the partitions of this disk now. So for that I copy and run the command list partition. So here we will increase the size of recovery partition. So for that first we will take some space from primary partition. So for this we will first select the primary partition through this command select partition. Here my primary partition is number 3 so I give 3 here after the command. Before running this command, you should select the size for recovery partition as many as you like. You can put it here instead of 250 megabytes in command. So here you can see the size of my partition which is 500 megabytes. I want to increase the size by 250 megabytes. So I run the default command. So after taking 250 MB space from C drive I will run. List partition command again. Here you can see the size of the recovery partition. Here first, we selected and took free space from the primary partition. Now, we will allocate this free space to the recovery partition. To do this, I'll use the command, select partition 4 to pick the recovery partition. I give here, 4 from the above. Now I delete it by command del part override. 
Now I want to check the partition style whether it is GPT or MBR for that I copy and run the command, list disk. Here you will get an idea from this asterisk or star whether it is under GPT or MBR. If it is under GPT then run these two commands, otherwise it will be MBR and just run this single command. So I run these two commands because my partition style is GPT. So here I leave the right above command because it was MBR. Now I will assign a label Windows RE to this partition by executing this command. Now we will check the size and label of this partition by running command list volume. You can see here its size is increased from 500 MB to 750 megabytes, and also label is assigned to it. Now I will exit from disk part by executing command exit. With this command we will start the Windows Update Services. Hopefully you don't have face any problem while copying and executing the commands. Now we will enable Windows Recovery Environment by executing command reagency space forward slash enable. After that we will check its status by using command reagency space forward slash info. Up to here our step 2 is completed. So now go to your Windows Update and start it so that it can be downloaded and installed because step 2 is working for most of the users and solve their update problem and it will solve your problem too. I have stopped Windows Update for now because step 3 is still pending so if it doesn't work then follow up step 3 as it will solve your problem 100%. Before proceeding to step 3, you must complete either step 1 or 2. As I told you earlier that this step is most important for you all. Your job is just copy and paste. I will give this script in description too. Here first we will download SafeOS Dynamic Update from Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for quick search, I copy Microsoft Update Catalog from here and then I open any browser and now I paste it here. And now I open first link. Here I copy the update name and then I will paste over there for searching. You should find and choose update here according to your system specifications. So if you don't know the properties of your system, then you should write about your PC below here in Windows Search. After opening it, you will come and see below, and in it you should see your Windows version, Windows Edition, and system type. So I am using Windows 10 20 H2 and its system type is 64-bit. So accordingly I search for my update here and download it. So search and download the update according to your systems. After hitting download button, next click on the CAD file link below. Now I open the folder where my file is downloaded. For now I change file name, so I rename it to Jerry without changing extension. Now for your convenience I copy this file and save on desktop too. Now I will copy KB5034957 and then I paste it in new tab and then hit enter button. And now click here on the link. So you scroll down here where patch winre underscore general dot ps1 is written and then drop down it. After the drop down, if you scroll down a bit, you will see the param in the code here, so you have to copy the code from here to bottom. Right here to the mount dir recurse. I copy this code then I go down here to the search bar and here I search for notepad and after I search I open it up. And then you have to paste the code here. So after pasting you have to press Ctrl plus S button from the keyboard. Then select your file location from here. So I select desktop and then you have to give any name to the file and after that, change the file extension from txt to ps1. As you can see my file name is srscript.ps1 and then I change it from text to all files. Now I save this file. We have downloaded the update and then saved the script. Guys up to here or everything is completed. We are just one step away. So what you need to do now is to search for PowerShell from here and then run it as administrator. Now I copy the command get execution policy and paste it here in PowerShell and then I run it. In the same way I copy the second command and then I run it in Windows PowerShell 2. Here you have to write Y and then press enter from the keyboard. After that you have to go to this directory where your files are located. So here you will first give the path of the script file. So for that I right click on this file and then click on its properties. 
after that you will see its path here. So I copy this path, then come to PowerShell, paste it here. Now type backslash and then give full name of the script file here. After giving the path of this file, now it is turn to give the path of another file. Hope you don't face any difficulty while doing this. In the same way, we will give the path of the second file named cab that we downloaded. Don't forget to give the backslash and file name here. Else you will face an error. After running this command it will take some time so you have to be patient. Hope you do not get any error here. Here I have increased the speed of the video. So when it's complete go to your Windows update and start it. I'm 100% sure your update will be done. I didn't make a single video for watch time. I made a proper working video so that it can help you. If the video helps you, then kindly like and subscribe this video.